A wolf dog is a dream of many animal lovers. But how much are such hybrids adapted to life next to humans? Crossbreeding of dog and wolf was first recorded in Britain in 1766, as Spitz was serviced with a wild animal. The resulting offspring possessed the appearance of a wolf, but basically had a softer character. As a rule, such special-purpose dogs are bred by scientists and biologists in aid of intelligence services, military, hunters, and rescuers. So why is a wolf dog better than dogs? Find out in this video. Hi everyone, and you're on my channel. Enjoy this issue. As their breeders state, hybrids are distinguished by endurance. For a day, a German Shepherd can run about 20 kilometers, and a wolf dog, up to 200 kilometers. Animals are bold and fearless. They have good immunity and extremely high intelligence. The wolf's brain is 30% bigger than the dog's. Acute sense of smell, sight and hearing, scent is five times sharper than dogs. Life expectancy is up to 30 years, and they do not bark, they howl. Not all dog breeds are suitable for crossbreeding. At the moment, two officially recognized hybrids of a dog and wolf are bred. The Czechoslovakian wolf dog and Sarluk's wolf dog from Holland. Well, they are hybrids that for various reasons have not yet registered. Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Developing of this breed began in 1955 in the nursery of Libijovic. The ancestor of the breed was the wolf Britta, and the father was a male German Shepherd. A hybrid of a wolf and a dog today has 30% wolf blood. Czechoslovakian wolf dogs were bred for the purpose of obtaining an animal with endurance, strength and flair of the wolf, combined with working qualities and manageability of a dog. The first experiments were successful. The resulting hybrid of wolf and dog successfully served in the border troops. In the 1970s, members of the breed were taken to the UK as well. Czechoslovakian wolf dog is active, smart, and well led to training. Education and socialization of a young animal should be given maximum attention. Aggression to small animals is possible too. Sarlu's wolf dog. This wolf and dog's hybrid was bred in Holland in 1925 by the kinologist Lindert Sarlu's. The ancestors of the breed were Wolf Floor and Male German Shepherd. The best puppies were selected for further breeding. The breed was recognized and incorporated in 1981. The wolf dog is quite large, up to 76 centimeters at the withers and up to 42 kilograms in weight. They are independent, live by the law of the pack, but are attached to the owner and recognize them as a leader. Sarlu's wolf dogs are careful and prefer to avoid danger. But this natural fear does not cause aggression. An interesting feature, hybrids do not bark, but use sound characteristics of wolves. A dog crossed with a wolf is used as a lifeguard and guide. They have a hunting instinct, which allows to use members of the breed as hunting dogs. This hybrid of wolf and dog is quite rare, and the price for puppies is high for about 2,000 US dollars. The Kunming Wolf Dog A dog cross with a wolf was created in China in the early 1950s as well. Army kynologists were the ones who worked on that breed. The breed was named after the city of Kunming, the capital Yunnan province where it was bred. We often refer to it as the Chinese Wolf Dog. The Kunming Wolf Dog received the official recognition in 1988. This wolf dog turned out quite large. The photos demonstrate that it has a formidable appearance. Height at the withers can reach 70 centimeters and weights 40 kilograms as well. An undefined pair became the progenitors of these dogs as in many other cases. Selection was conducted solely on working qualities and training results. In addition to 10 German Shepherds with an admixture of wolf blood, 90 local dogs of unknown breed and purebred German Shepherds participated in the breeding. The Kunming wolf dog serves in military and police. It can search for mines, drugs, does rescue work, and does a great job with security functions as well. The wolf dog becomes a pet for many. By character, they are close to German Shepherds, easy to train, active, intelligent, and curious, but can show dominant qualities and therefore require a firm hand. The Lupo Italiano Cross-breeding of wolf and dog was also made in Italy in 1966. 
work on the breed was produced by Dr. Mario Messi. He crossed the wolf, one of the last representatives of the local mountain species, with a German Shepherd on the other hand. The Lupo Italiano is perfectly adapted for living in the mountains, perfectly tolerates the local climate, and can do for a long time without food and water. In addition, the wolf dog has a magnificent sense of smell and is used to search for drugs and explosives. The Lupo Italiano is intelligent, devoted to the owner and becomes his shadow. Dogs of this breed carried service during the Turin Olympics. A special decree of the President of Italy promulgates the neglected breeding and sale of the dogs of this breed. Wallamute A dog crossed with a wolf, Wallamute is a designer breed that became popular in 2000. The ancestors of the breed were the Alaskan Malamute and the Forest Wolf. The appearance of the dog is changeable. There is no single standard. Dimensions can also vary. Height from 60 to 75 centimeters and weight from 25 to 55 kilograms. Wallamutes are active and require daily physical exertion. They feel good in a large area, but you need to put a high fence that excludes escape. It is worth preventing the possibility of digging. Wolf Dogs from a Zone in Texas Barry Hotvit is a leading specialist in the crossbreeding of wolves and dogs, engaged in this for a very long time. He chooses Arctic wolves and already existing wolf hybrids with dog of Indian species as the main breeds to work with. Very large species grow up to 90 centimeters at the weathers and weigh 50 kilograms. American Tundra Shepherd The American Tundra Shepherd is a beautiful shepherd dog and lifeguard and is a dedicated guard and companion as well. Initially, the goal of breeding was the desire of the US military to have strong, bold, versatile dogs in their service. It was a government experiment to crossbreed a German Shepherd with a Tundra Wolf, and the result of which was an American Tundra Shepherd. The first puppies of this breed was not suitable for service in the armed forces according to certain criteria. For example, they were not aggressive and poorly trained. The experiment was found to be unsuccessful. The military closed the program to breed these dogs. However, the breeding work was continued by the civil. They considered these dogs promising. They improved them to a modern species and however, despite the huge popularity at home, this breed was never recognized by any of the canine organizations. The Hiren Wolf Dog The Wolf Dog Hirenio, also known as Lobo Hirenio, is a shepherd dog for small cattle recognized by the Royal Canine Society of Spain. The Hiren Wolf Dog has a subtle appearance and mild disposition. They are very restless, have a high mental stability, and also have an excellent reaction. These dogs are quite suspicious of strangers, but don't attack for no reason. They show great loyalty towards their owner and all family members as well. Permian Wolf Dog There is a Russian breed of wolf dog. The breed of wolf dog was bred in the Perm region in the Perm Institute of Interior Force. The wolf Nida and German Shepherds were used for crossing. For successful breeding of the wolf dog, it is necessary that the wolf is not afraid of a person. Such a predisposition should be innate. Nida was raised by a hunter from the age of two weeks and before getting to the institute spent three years among people. They received three generations of hybrids of dog and wolf from her, able to live next to and obey men. Wolf dogs serve on the border. Their flair and stamina are several times superior to dogs. If an ordinary dog is able to take a trace of 12 hours ago, then the wolf dog will smell even after 3 days. And powerful jaws can bite a protective suit. Despite the large size and formidable appearance, wolf dogs are well suited to training and not aggressive to people. But for their upbringing, you need a firm hand. The owner must have unsaid authority. There are no Permian wolf dogs in a free sale. All of them are designated for military and security services. Because of their external similarity to wild wolves, they are often attracted to set in future motion pictures. Volant Volant is a hybrid of Tundra Wolf and Siberian Huskies created for hunting. Since 1974, seven generations of dogs named Volants have been received on the basis of the nursery of the Research Institute of Hunting and Animal Breeding. The breeder is enthusiast Vasily Peshkov. Russian Wolfhound it was breeded on the basis of the nursery of wolfhounds by efforts of its owner, 
Breeder Yulia Ivanovich. This breed is the youngest and largest of all existing breeds. It was bred less than 10 years ago in St. Petersburg by crossing the wolf with a female Alaskan Malamute. The resulting hybrids differ in very large sizes and spectacular colors, black, dark, and zonary. To date, the breed has not yet been registered. Representatives of this species are aggressive. Such pets should be acquired only if there is an experience in keeping large dogs, and socialization should be carried out from childhood. The approach to training is also quite specific. Dogs do not tolerate drill and violence. Plus, never repeat commands several times unless there is a reason for it. Features of Wolf Dogs What is the difference between the wolf and the dog, and what are the features of wolf dogs? Often, individuals obtained from crossing a wolf and dog retain wolf instincts. Their behavior can be destructive. They are often aggressive towards small animals and even children, as wolf dogs can lose their fear of the man and may rival the host for leadership. This feature makes them even more dangerous than wild wolves. Animals are very strong and such conflicts can have serious consequences. It should be understood that a wolf dog can be socialized but that doesn't mean it is domesticated. The nature of wolf dogs can greatly vary even within one leader. Inheritance of wild animal traits has no direct dependence on the percentage of wolf blood. It should be understood that wolf dogs are animals not for beginners. You need to know their features as well, have extensive experience in keeping dogs, and know wolf habits. Thank you for your time and for watching. Write in the comments down below which wolf dog you like more. Like and subscribe to this video as well. Goodbye!